Game-Changing Solutions for the World. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 202. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51 c 3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 202, February 5th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us through social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the diversity lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of diversity. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the form in our outer world lesson plan. We also completed the first 50% of the mind map for the cosmos lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team added anchor links and created and added a new image to the what is section of the food bars page, as you see here, bringing the page to approximately 20% completion. Working with Jennifer Zhao, web designer, we also completed edits and reorganization of the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page, bringing that page to 90% completion, which you can see here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team built the initial test heat exchanger for the communal eco shower structure, assembled and sealed it, and produced this final construction ready for testing. We also merged two renders to create this final section view of the communal eco shower structure for the Earth Bank Village, Pod 1. In addition to this, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, added people and nature elements to create these two new final renders of the Earth Bank Village tropical atrium. Then we added them to the site. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, joined the team and completed his first week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower designs. What you see here is version 1.0 of 3D modeling the pipes, point of use heater, thermostatic mixing valve, and heat exchanger. Adrian Gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her seventh week helping create the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template. This week's focus was another round of integrating feedback and further simplifying the template to produce what you see here. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his 12th week of managing the vermicultural bathroom development with the seventh week of help from Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student, and Jianu Lucas Liang, mechanical engineer. This week's focus, as shown here, was on the toilet connections to the main unit and drainage details. 
and Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 54 of Dean's work, developing renders for the living spaces. This week's focus was a new perspective and section including the second floor sleeping areas of the southwest wing. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team made final edits to this render for the natural pool area inside the Duplicle City Center Social Dome. The core team also continued working on 3D visualizing the structural support updates for the cupola that tops the Duplicle City Center. We added structural metal beam support for the south and north columns of the central area and continued working on the structural support columns around the staircase area of the dining dome. You can see this work in both of these areas here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 26th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was creation of a simplified zone drawing and beginning initial light placement. And Xin Shi Feng, environmental consultant, continued her research helping us create an in-depth washing machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 20th week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was finalizing, writing the content, and creating the graphics for the first half of the research and application section of the tutorial. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Ni, nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was continued roof engineering calculations and finishing the process of updating the structural calculations based on commonly available steel members. Rami Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. This week's work focused on researching multiconductors, conduit types, and saltwater batteries, and doing a comparative analysis for saltwater versus lead acid batteries. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her third week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Dupical City Center. This week's focus was on writing the beginning of the foundation design detail tutorial as seen here. And Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his seventh week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was adjusting the windows and doors to fit the new dome geometry and identifying possible problem areas. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished a complete rewrite and update of the highest good network software page and launched a new campaign to help build the team necessary to complete the software. Hannah Gibbs, web developer, also completed her fourth week of helping develop the Taxes and Sustainable Community Building page. This week's focus was final edits to the state images and adding these images to the site along with their links to the state's tax pages. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with his 16th week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work included integration of the first round of edits to the Straw Bale Village search engine and creation and testing of version 1.0 of the Highest Good Food search engine. One community thinks that game-changing solutions for the world are possible through open source. And we think that open source tools, tutorials, do-it-yourself instructions are necessary for all aspects of sustainable living. And so we've defined these as an evolution of sustainability that includes physical foundations of the physical foundations of sustainability and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability and a way of life that we think most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And this will create a game changing solution for the world because if enough people want it and if it's easy enough and affordable enough and if it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. So one community is open sourcing and free sharing the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining those with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as high good education, fulfilled living practices, high good economics, and true earth stewardship. Putting those together in a complete model, a teacher demonstration community village city or hub that can be built anywhere in the world 
with one community as the first of these, the prototype, that people will be able to come and visit, come and experience, if they like what they see, take it and replicate it, either as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub, a solution model specifically designed to help others to create solution creating models too. This is our self-replicating idea, and we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that believe that it's possible, that want to be a part of creating game-changing solutions for the world, and believe that a self-replicating model like this can truly transform our planet within our lifetime. How? By self-replicating. If we build one community as the first, and that, within one year, inspires two more communities to begin, and within one year, those two communities inspire two more communities each, and those four eight, and those eight sixteen, and those sixteen thirty two, and those thirty two sixty four, and so on and so forth, replicating like that, assuming that this combined momentum can replicate in that way, which actually is better than those eight inspiring sixteen, because really you have those eight plus the four before that, two before that, and one before that, and if all of those could inspire just sixteen more communities to start anywhere in the world, and this process of replication can happen, we can truly create something that will positively and permanently impact the world for everybody within our lifetime. We can create a world that works for everyone. And we believe that now is the time to do that. The technology exists. The people obviously exist. And so now it's just a matter of bringing these people together. The people, as I said, with the consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that believe that we're the ones that we've been waiting for that now is the time for a solution that can create a new paradigm of sustainability, a truly game-changing solution, but not just a game-changing solution, a suite of game-changing solutions that covers all aspects of sustainable living and can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete model. This is how one community is creating world change. We invite you to join us. There's lots of different ways to do that ranging from pioneer members, which would be moving to the property and building one community, to just sharing our information on social media. You know, we, have, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information. And sharing our information is actually a huge way to help. It is a huge help. Because the only way that we can get our information out there is with people like you helping us to share it. And so we're trying to make it as attractive and as easy to follow. And we call it open source project launch blueprinting because everything that we're doing is designed to be implemented as an individual component, but more important, or as a complete model, but more importantly, designed to launch other iterations, other versions of everything that we're doing to inspire a movement of open source and free shared creativity encompassing all aspects of sustainability and expanding sustainability to also include the emotional aspects of sustainability that I already mentioned. This is our idea of game-changing solutions for the world. This is how we're doing it. Anybody can participate. Of course, people ask, well, what's the biggest thing that I could do to help one community? Well, if you or somebody you know has access to the funds to help us get the property off the market, we are looking for somebody that would be interested in either investing in one community or donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, helping us get that property off the market so we can disclose the location and take our whole open source process to the next level by building our team bigger, by doing the elements that we can't do without a site survey, without knowing for sure that the property that we've been working with for six years is actually going to be the property where we're going to build and taking our whole project to the next level. In the meantime, our whole team is working on everything that's necessary to be shovel ready and we're open sourcing and free sharing the process just as our organization is all about right now so that people have these resources and can see our process and we're, produ and we're producing these weekly updates to share the whole process as it continues. This is how we're creating world change. Anybody can participate and we're all volunteers. We're a non-profit, non-governmental, all-volunteer operated organization. Nobody's paid for what it is that's, being ha that's happening. We're all doing this as volunteers. We want to see a world that, that's created sustainably. We want to live this way. And we want to create something that anybody can participate in. And so this is how we're doing it. So thanks for following our progress. Thank you for watching to the end. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Uh, also, thank you.
Also, thank you. That's really all I have to say. I don't have anything else to add. Thank you for all into the end. Thank you for watching, and thank you. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.